The Texas Board of Pardons and Parole says it has started an investigation reviewing Army Sergeant Daniel Perry's murder case before he's even sentenced. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Muddy and I'm Jayla Washington. Governor Greg Abbott asked the board to do this on Saturday, less than 24 hours after a jury convicted Perry. Now Perry, we're showing you him there on our screen. He shot and killed Armed Force veteran and Black Lives Matter protester Garrett Foster back in 2020. We looked at the process and did some digging into the Texas Board of Pardons and Parole Members. Thank, thank you all. Daniel Perry convicted of murder, sobbing and handcuffed. And that you agree. But just days later, he and his supporters have hope. Governor Greg Abbott indicating he wants to pardon Perry. After, we asked the governor for an interview to discuss his reasoning. And his office referred us to his weekend statement, which read in part, Texas has some of the strongest stand your ground laws of self-defense that cannot be nullified by a jury or progressive district attorney. Self-defense was a key part of Perry's defense arguments. How did you feel after you heard? I was disgusted and I was, it was shocking to see, to see that after everything that me and Garrett's family have been through. Through. Whitney Mitchell is Garrett Foster's fiance. She was there when Perry shot and killed him. I was still relieved to see justice for Garrett and then just for all of that to just be completely taken away is like extremely horrifying. Nothing like this has ever happened. Per Texas law, the board usually brings a case to the governor for pardon consideration, not the other way around. There are seven governor appointed members on the board. The Senate has to okay their appointments, and they're all on six-year terms, but don't have a limit of the terms they can serve. Most have extensive law enforcement or criminal justice experience. We couldn't find any evidence that Abbott has ever pardoned anyone convicted of murder. What the governor is proposing today completely guts the idea of rule of law and due process. Perry is yet to be sentenced, and while the board won't estimate how long their investigation will take, Mitchell hopes they carefully consider the facts. I'm just asking them, could they please look into it? Just it, it is, it's all right there. Well, last year, Governor Greg Abbott spoke against the indictment of 19 Austin police officers on assault charges stemming from the May 2020 racial justice protests and dangled the possibility for potential to pardon them as well. Those cases have yet to go to trial. A full pardon gives a person back certain civil rights like voting, serving on a jury, running for public office, and also allows that person to get all the arrest records tied to a conviction expunged. The court says no date has been set for Perry sentencing, but he faces up to life in prison. There is a noticeable trend, though, in the number of recommendation for clemency the board handed out as of lately. From 2017 to 2021, the most recent numbers available, more than 100 cases for non-capital offenses were considered. Some years more than others, but if you notice, 2021 was the first time the board actually recommended more cases of clemency than not, 75 to 69. In 2017, there were only 16 recommendations. The governor does use those recommendations before making a decision.